So in working with PCO technology, RGF was determined to find a way to better develop a product that would purify all of the air without requiring the pollutants to touch the titanium dioxide surface. The product of that research and development is RGF's PHI technology, or photohydroionization. This is a cross-section of our unit. Inside, in the center, we've got a broad-spectrum UV lamp that puts off more than just the traditional 254 nanometer wavelength of UV light. We've surrounded that light with a PPC sleeve, which prevents dust from sticking to the light. And around that, we have a hydrated quad-metallic coating on a matrix that gives it optimal surface area to shine on. The real science behind a PHI technology is happening in that catalyst. The catalyst itself is made up of four metals, rhodium, titanium dioxide, silver, and copper. So our main manufacturing process at the factory is to buy these metals in their uh, raw form, turn them into a proprietary catalyst, apply them to a metal matrix, and assemble the units. When the UV bulb in a PHI system is energized, it shines that light onto this quad metallic catalyst. And much like that photoelectric effect shown earlier, it's going to create those electron holes, which will start a chain reaction with the molecules in the air. Because we're using a quad metallic catalyst, we're able to generate different oxidizers than just hydroxyl radicals, or one oxygen and one hydrogen. The strongest acting of which that we create are hydroperoxides, or H2O2. We're all familiar with hydroperoxides. H2O2 is what you'll find in a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Everyone knows hydrogen peroxide. You cut your arm, you pour hydrogen peroxide on it, it bubbles, it fizzes, it kills germs. The concept is taking H2O, water vapor in the air, O2, oxygen, and applying our PHI technology to it to recombine them into these H2O2 molecules. Instead of existing in a brown bottle, these H2O2 molecules are created in the actual airstream. Now these H2O2 molecules, these friendly oxidizers, are extremely effective at destroying microbes and gases that they come into contact with. Once a microbe or gas has been destroyed, the oxidizers will revert back into O2 and H2O, their original component parts. All of the oxidizers we create, including hydroperoxides, exist naturally in the outside air. The sun is a large UV lamp with a lot of power. It generates these reactions naturally. What we're doing is not creating new molecules, but instead recreating the natural benefits that you get from sunlight exposed to air with a low power lamp in your ductwork. Let's take a moment to show you where this unit would be installed. You drill a two and a quarter inch hole in the supply plenum and mount the unit directly into the area. You wire the PHI cell so that it operates continuously, and the transformer will take any power source between 100 and 240 volts. This next portion is the most important portion when talking about PHI technology to understand. The unit is installed, it's wired so that it's on constantly, and it's generating these H2O2 molecules which will destroy microbes and gases. But having them just sit in the ductwork doesn't purify all of this air in the conditioned space. When the fan turns on, it's going to blow these oxidizers, these H2O2 molecules, through the ductwork and out into the conditioned space. And it's in the conditioned space itself that these oxidizers will destroy microbes and gases that they come across. This is what separates a product like PHI technology from UV lights, PCO devices, and filtration. The ability to actively purify all the air in the conditioned space at once with one unit. Any microbe that comes into contact with an H2O2 molecule will be destroyed, and this includes microbes that are sitting on surfaces exposed to the air. So if you were to have a microbe on a countertop that was exposed to the air with the H2O2 molecules in it, a H2O2 molecule were to get close enough to destroy it, it would essentially keep that surface free from that growth of microbes. If you only take one important concept from this entire presentation, it should be the idea of this active purification in the conditioned space. Now PHI technology is going to be extremely effective at destroying the microbes and gases in the conditioned space. It's not going to have any effect on particulates like dust, dander, and pollen. These particulates aren't alive. You can't destroy them like you can a microbe or oxidize them like you can a gas. It's only effective on bacteria, viruses, mold spores, 
VOCs, and odors in the condition space. So the next step in our research and development was to design a product that was going to be effective on microbes, effective on gases, so it would do all of the bac bacteria, viruses, mold spores, VOCs, and odors, but also be effective on dust, dander, and pollen in the condition space. The product that achieves these goals was debuted about 18 months ago under the name REMI Technology, which stands for Reflective Electromagnetic Energy. The REMI system works very much like the PHI technology. There's a light and a catalyst inside that generates the same group of friendly oxidizers that are so effective with PHI technology in eliminating microbes and gases. The real improvement with REMI technology was that these oxidizers, these friendly oxidizers that we're creating, are given a charge, some positive and some negative, as they leave the unit. This charged particle goes into the conditioned space and again, just like PHI technology, destroys microbes or gases that they come across. But that charge is then passed off to your dust, dander, and pollen in the conditioned space. By charging the particles, some positive and some negative, they're going to begin to be magnetically attracted to each other. That's going to cause them to stick together and get bigger or coagulate. And these larger particles are now going to be either too heavy to stay in the air and will drop to the ground, or your existing filter system will collect the particles at a much higher rate of efficiency, since the limit of a filter system is the size of particles that it's able to collect. So REMI technology doesn't require its own separate filter system. Any existing filter system will be better able to collect these larger particles. A REMI system installs very much like a PHI system. You drill a three and a quarter inch hole in the supply plenum and mount the unit. It comes with a seal and a gasket. The REMI cell is also designed for 24-7 continuous operation. And the transformer will take any power source between 100 and 240 volts. It comes with the standard 110 outlet on the end. You can either plug it in or cut it and direct wire it into your air conditioning system. So to recap the differences between the two technologies, the PHI system is going to be effective on microbes and gases, including bacteria, viruses, mold spores, odors, and VOCs. It's not going to be effective on particulates in the air like dust, dander, and pollen. The REMI system is going to be effective on all the same things that PHI is, bacteria, viruses, mold spores, odors, and VOCs, and in addition is going to help the existing filter equipment better remove particulates from the air by increasing their size. So if you're looking at an application where there's somebody smoking inside or a high level of particulates in the air, someone with allergy issues perhaps, the REMI will be a better fit because it will take care of all of the odors and gases and in addition help knock those particulates out. If you're going the other direction and your main concern is protecting uh, mold or microbe growth or eliminating odors in a conditioned space, the PHI system will be a slightly less expensive way to do it. I always like to take a moment here and point out the unique way that we take these products to market. Because these are duct-mounted systems, we only distribute them through HVAC wholesalers and HVAC contractors. We don't sell them to the big box stores like Lowe's or Home Depot's. We don't sell products directly on the internet. And it's our goal to make sure that we have knowledgeable and trained contractors who can go out there and deliver a product like this to their customer. As the indoor air quality industry grows, we feel that HVAC contractors who are already in there working on air comfort are the best suited to deliver the message of indoor air quality to their customer base. Now we've spoken about how PHI and REMI products work. Let's talk a little bit more about how well these products work with some independent lab testing.